Dean, Barnet take on Solly Hill tomorrow in the Banorama National League. Uh, but before we touch on that game, let's have a little look uh, back at what happened on Tuesday night. A couple of days removed. How are you feeling having watched the game back, having reflected on our performance? I thought it was a good performance. We've created a lot of chances. I'll be asking questions as we went into creating chances and we missed some glorious opportunities and we didn't get the rub of the green with, with officiating with the refereeing decisions and we kept going. We kept going to the line, we kept pushing. I felt Moose's goal should have been a goal. I don't understand why it's been chalked off. And uh, we kept pushing, we showed character within that and it's just one of them days really. Um, so yeah, we've, we, we dissected it with the players and the players feel frustrated, angry. Um, and there's lots of different things like when, when games go that way but I can't knock our players effort our players effort was excellent so yeah um, and, and stages I thought we played really well um, we made a lot of entries into their box and made them defend so to be fair to, to Dorkin you've got to give them a lot of credit they hung on and dug in there and you know you've got to tip, that hat, tip a hat to that and uh, just move on to the next game we go to the Midlands tomorrow afternoon how have you been preparing for it? How have you been uh, training on the on the training ground? Yeah, good side, Solihull. Obviously, like I said to you, know, well managed, well coached, good rotations, good combinations, especially down the right hand side, Clark and Barnett, and they've got an array of riches to score and goal to all departments. So, look, they have got weaknesses, just like we have, just like every team in this division now. So we're going to try to expose them. Um, our players' attitude has been really good. You know, there's no point in. in, in talking about the past it's gone now and we move on to this game we're excited by the game pitch is always excellent up there so you know we have our own strengths and we have our own uh, positivities and the more, the more times we can get at their weaknesses the better it'll be for us so but I'm expecting a good game we're going to go try and win the game we're not going to go up there and sit off we'll go try and win the game and uh, take it to them so um, but like I say they've got a lot of strengths especially in the front line um, and the combinations in midfield they're excellent uh, the lad Osborne yeah. sitting there for them's a good player as well so they've got a lot of good players a lot of experience so um, but like I say, it's a, it's a game, obviously for us, it's probably the type of game we need. I feel probably the game, to, you know, if we can manage to go up there and get a result, I think a, a positive result, it'll put us in good stead. Anything in particular you've been looking at on the training ground yeah, in yeah, preparation? Yeah, 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 like I say, you know, it, it'll be quite a technical game, they're quite a technical team. Um, I said they're well coached, the combinations are really good, so we need to stop that. And then uh, on the turn over the ball, we've got to be able to hurt on the opposition. So, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Have we got any injuries for tomorrow that may have not been there at Dorking? Obviously, we saw Danny come back into the squad on, on Tuesday, which was a, a welcome relief. Anything new going into Yeah, ideally, weekend? Danny and Ryan, they've been out for three weeks. We wouldn't have played them for 90 minutes. But the way the game turned out, they had to, they had to play. Uh, Sam Beard's got a hamstring injury. That's where he come off. That was a forced change. Um, so he's out. Uh, and this morning, Daniel Powell's picked up an ankle injury on the training ground. So he's out as well. So... Apart from that, everyone else is okay. Uh, a little bit of bad news this morning we had on Jamal Lozo. He's going to be out much longer than what we expected. Um, he'll be out for several months now with his groin injury. So it's uh, it's poor news for him, really. Look, Dean, I wish you the best of luck for tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.